All right, oh, here we no. go. Not happening. Adam Pierce. Not happening. Scrap Daddy. Not happening. You guys can cheer and clap all you want. Scrap Daddy is not coming out. John Ian here. John Ian, where's your Scrap Daddy now, John Ian? You know he thinks he runs this Wait place. He must have naked pictures of you kissing Marquez all over his body for the way he runs this place. No Scrap Daddy, baby. Stu, you know you're lucky I let you even out here to watch this. So you sit back down or I'm throwing you out of here. John Eon. I'll tell you what. No Scrap Daddy. Dirty no work was done. No Former scrap daddy. World heavyweight champion many times over. He deserved this opportunity. And, and I, I, he may still get out here, guys. I don't he's know. He's not I, coming. I think he's not officially out until the next participant enters. I'm looking at my clock right now, and time is almost up. Scrap Daddy is not coming out. He is not coming, and it's about time. I'm sick and tired of that idiot thinking he runs this show, thinking he runs this place. He don't run nothing. Oh, somebody it's, runs off of the mouth and thinks they run this place. That sounds awfully familiar, Stu. Didn't we run it's you this, to Orlando? What the hell are you disgusting. even talking about? It's disgusting what you guys did, but I'll tell you what, Stu. I'll tell you what. Effective. Admit it. Admit it. When Adam Pierce gets his hands on you, you'll regret everything you did. Five, four, three, two, one, Adam Pierce has been eliminated. <laughs> well, it is official. Adam Pierce will now not be an entry. That was not a fake lap. That was enjoyment. Due to the attack by Stu Stone, the family Stone. Who's coming out next? Oh, oh Gregory Sharp. Greg Sharp. He got it in a last minute qualifying matchup. Definitely an underdog in this one, guys. Gregory Sharp, much improved. I got to admit, I've had my eyes on this kid. He has improved his game over the last year. And uh, here's a guy that did qualify at the last second, but you know what? Gregory Sharp has done something in his career that Adam Pierce has never done. You know what that is? Compete in a red carpet rumble. Oh, you make this sick. <laughs> oh, Ryan Taylor and Gregory Sharp duking it out in the middle of the ring. Again, ladies and gentlemen, to reset, we got Willie Mack and Sean Ricker, number one and two, still in this thing, as well as the Manimal and Nick Madrid. And all the action happening right now between these two guys. And to recap, hashtag Stu Stone is a damn genius. Adam Pierce is oh. not gonna win this. He's not even coming out, he's done. Look Taylor, Taylor look trying to Sharp. take out Sharp, who holds on again. And a lot of the other competitors. Oh, look out, oh my Whoa. goodness! Why Taylor, what out? Just That's happened? a huge upset! What just happened? Gregory Sharp just eliminated Ryan Taylor. Oh! oh. And down goes Sharp, Willie Mack has a limited Sharp. Ladies and gentlemen, what a shocking turn of events here at the Red Carpet Rumble. But we're running out of time. Ladies and gentlemen, we will see you next week for the conclusion of the Red Carpet Rumble. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? And here we go, folks. Kevin Douglas starting us off, continuing our coverage of the Red Carpet Rumble. Stu Stone here along with Jeff Resnick and the returning Todd Kenley. Kevin Douglas making his return upstage in here, Todd. And he's gonna have to be a superhero to win this thing. It has been wild from the beginning. Shocking eliminations. And the attack by Ryan Taylor attacking Gregory Sharp after what had happened. Not the action we usually see from Ryan Taylor, TK. No, but the stakes are so high. He snapped. So much on the line, and he cannot believe that he was eliminated by Sharp. But that's why this match, so unpredictable, so dangerous. I, we talked about earlier in the match, head on a swivel, and that's what caught Taylor there. As the match continues, the red carpet rumble rages on. Let's not lose sight of the fact a man who's held gold in his career, Kevin Douglas, he's back. Yes, Kevin Dunlix making his return to championship wrestling from Hollywood. The superhero himself, the modern day warrior. Sean Ricker drew number one, Willie Mack drew number two. Both men still in this thing. Very impressive. Oh, and Ricker, music. you gotta be careful doing this. Ricker going up top. be a dangerous move in a match like this because if he gets knocked off, he could be eliminated. Sean Ricker, you're right, Brad's taking an unnecessary risk there. And there he is, Kevin Douglas, the modern day hero himself. And nobody's trying to make somebody's of themselves here. 
said that one a few times, but this is actually a match where they could become somebody. I think we're seeing Kevin Douglas team up with the Manimal here. Oh, wow. What a dynamic duo that is. What is a dynamic duo, really, TK? What is Douglas wearing? Has he been catching fastballs? Maybe some sliders? What is that? It's like some sort of body armor. Maybe he's been talking to your boy D'Lo. We know he likes to use that top rope splash. I am not looking at the real deal now. But he has held championship gold. And look at this, Ricker now. Number one to enter this matchup. Still finding a way, digging down deep and taking on two men. But he runs right into a sidekick there by Douglas. You better recognize just who the hell he is. That's Kevin Douglas. All right, give me the lowdown. I get it. Sean Ricker, will he be eliminated here? Douglas and the Manimal teaming up. If they get rid of Ricker, that is really going to oh, be a pivotal Ricker. point in this matchup. He's inches away. Oh, Ricker hangs on. And ladies and gentlemen, we talked about it when the match started. Wooly Mac, Sean Ricker, definitely two people you consider favorites. But of course, drawing number one and number two put them at a disadvantage. But they're still in it. They're still in. And the agility by, by Willie Mack as well, rolling through and countering there. Here's Eric Cross now coming out here with his new Mad Men hair. Well, he does, you, know, you don't want to hit a man with glasses, Stu Stone. Well, he's going to need some uh, brain power to survive in this one. It's wild out there in the red carpet rumble. Of course, Eric Cross has been uh, recently associated with Jarek Matthews. He might be recently associated with the floor here in a second. Man, I, I can't even keep up. This is crazy. Somebody is going to be the new champion. Who's it going to be? Make your picks, boys. Ricker has kept a good pace throughout this match. He picks his shots. He gets in, he gets out. And you see Willie Mack as well in the corner. What about the Manimal? And we still got some heavy hitters yet to come. We got James Morgan. We got Eric Watts. We got Scorpio Sky. A Mikey lot of O'Shea. Games. Mikey O'Shea, I'll tell you what, I am still reeling, still shocked from the elimination of Ryan Taylor by Gregory Sharp. Unbelievable. Hey, I told you guys I've had my eyes on that kid. I'm not surprised. Well, and that's why you gotta love this type of matchup. So unpredictable. You got guys like the Manimal in there that maybe would never get a shot at the Heritage title, but he could win it tonight. History can be made. Two, one. Oh. Well, here he is, ladies and gentlemen. The scum of the earth. Not the Scrap Daddy, but rather a Scraps the of Trash. The real Scrap Daddy. Scraps of James Trash. James Main Event Morgan, your next champion. Hello, Heather, looking great. What's this going on? Nothing, no. but, this guy's nothing but pure filth. That's all he is. He's the lowest of the low, Stu Stone, and he associates himself with you. The lowest of the low. You need to shut your mouth I before I- I don't even I... shut my mouth. I'm speaking the truth. I know you got no gag reflex, so it wouldn't even hurt you if I jammed that microphone down that throat of yours. James Morgan is the next heavyweight champion. He's the next heritage champion. He is the next ruler, oh. the real scrap daddy. He's about, no. he's about to be no. the next man eliminated. No. Oh yeah, come on, Manimal, come on. Get him over the top. Morgan uh, holds on there, and yeah, God. in this case, imitation, not the sincerest form of flattery, the new Scrap Daddy, you gotta be kidding me. The, the real Scrap Daddy. Adam Pierce robbed of his opportunity to beat here tonight. Adam Pierce robs us all of our intelligence every time he, every time he shows his face around here. Adam Pierce is a scrub, Adam Pierce is a bum, hashtag Stu Stoney's the greatest, not the Scrap Daddy. That's the real Scrap Daddy right there, James Morgan. And there goes the countdown again. Who will be number 20 in the red carpet rumble? Oh! I'll tell you what, guys. The landscape of this matchup just changed. You're talking about big bodies, huge bodies. Tough to get out of there. This man is a beast, and he is going to be one hell of a project for anybody or everybody in that ring to eliminate. Terex, I can't stand that guy. What the hell? Come on, James Morgan totally being taken advantage of right now well, Terex, by Ricker. Terex, one of the guys I, I told you to keep your eye on. Morgan rolled out of the ring. He is oh! not eliminated. Who can eliminate Terex? I don't think anybody. Well, the nobodies couldn't eliminate him. Could we be looking at the next Heritage Champion 
the monster Terex. Uh, James, 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 come here, James. Look out here, Douglas. James. Perhaps gonna fly, and he does. Nice shot there onto Terex, but can't take the big man off his feet. You can't get him off his feet. How in the heck are you gonna get him out of the ring? James Morgan still alive. Ooh. It's a battle of two monsters right here. There goes Terex and the Manimal. Did you ever think you'd see those two? Oh, oh the whole ring shifts. Where's the beef? There it is. Oh, another big man set to come down in the ring. You hear that music, you know who it is. Big and nasty. And I'll tell you what, a good number here. One of the later draws, and this is a big guy that can lay waste so, to some people in this matchup. It goes right after Morgan. I'll tell you what, guys, this thing is getting really unpredictable. I mean, you got a lot of big names in there. You got Willie Mack, Terrence, Eric Watts, Sean Ricker, James Morgan. You got some, you know, X Factors, perhaps. Guys like Nick Madrid, Kevin Douglas, Eric, Eric Cross, Manimal. Eric Watts, a total sellout, a total turncoat. I put that guy on the map. Family Stone put Eric Watts on the map, and here's how he shows his appreciation by going after one of his former mentors, James Main Event Morgan, the real Scrap Daddy. I'll tell you what, Stu, when he came out oh! here, looks like oh. you, wow, yeah, what a shot there by Terex. Looks like you saw a ghost, and it might be a ghost of the Family Stone oh, past. Oh, there goes Nick Eric Madrid. Watts. The Manimal just eliminated Nick Madrid, folks. How impressive has the Manimal been? He's been in this thing a long time now. I gotta tell you, TK, you got any picks at this point? Oh, that's a tough call. It's gonna be hard to bet against Eric Watts with his size, his athleticism. And a great number he just drew. Eric Watts is a bum. He's fresh in there, you can tell. Oh, here he comes, straight from the future, right to championship wrestling from Hollywood, Blake Fox. Shelly Martinez, his boyfriend. I don't know how she dates a guy who wears a mask. I, it really confuses me, but Some she's a pretty that kind of thing. She's a pretty confusing young lady. Positive vibes. Another great athlete in there, and, and I got to tell you guys, when you look at the body language, a lot of guys really getting tired, fatigue setting in. Willie Mack has been laying on the canvas for quite some time. He might be ripe for the pickings if somebody can get him up, hit some high impact, and throw him out of here. As long as James Morgan is still in the ring, that's all that matters. Championship Wrestling from Hollywood getting set to crown the Heritage Champion. Oh, Red Carpet Rumble oh, and Willie yeah, Mack's Willie, in trouble. The Manimal might just do that. But yeah. Willie Mack fighting him off now with strikes, just peppering the Manimal. You know, you're right, TK. Manimal has been very impressive in this matchup. And maybe Willie Mack perhaps played a little possum there, laying around looking lethargic. But as soon as he was in danger, he fired up in a hurry. Willie Mack, the Lion King. Watch out. I'll tell you what, Sean Ricker in a very precarious position right there. His life flashed before his eyes there. And here comes the ultimate Jarek Matthews. Jarek Matthews saving his energy, not running all the way around the ring this time. Trying to make him a name for himself, going after James Morgan. He better watch what he's doing and Come stop on, messing Matthews. with the family stone. Give it to him, Matthews. Give it to him. Shut up. Nothing more than to see Jarek Matthews uh -oh. eliminate James Morgan. Shut up. And Matthews, you know, he's impressed us over the years. He's scored some surprise key victories. Is tonight his night? I agree. And of course, Heather Lynn complaining on the outside of the ring. It isn't fair. Listen, Heather, it's called the Red Carpet Rumble. It's every man for himself. Big Sometimes nasty. Sometimes your actions dictate what happens to you oh. when you get in the ring with your own. And this is a nightmare here for Morgan. Big nasty Eric Watts and Terex are teaming up on main event Morgan. Well, this is like a uh, flashbacks from the Team Pierce versus the Family Stone elimination match. Shut up or I'll give you flashbacks of my fist in your mouth. Oh, come on, would you please? Numbers game taking effect. Get him out of there. This is blatant double teaming right here. This is nonsense. This is crazy. The only double teaming that Watts 
should know about is the night his mama got conceived. You know that, right? And the That's ring, a true the story. Red, the red carpet rumble is definitely a sea of humanity right now. And it's going to fill up some more. That's pure speculation, Stu Stone. Check we, his Wikipedia. It's on there. As we speculate who's going to win this one, who's going to take down the gold. Number 24 about to come down to the ring. It's Big Duke. What an experience it would be for this big man. Another big body in there that can do a lot of damage. And look at this. Going toe to toe with Terex. Unleashing the right hands. Jarek Matthews with some shots as well. So much action inside this ring. Hard yep. to know what to call, guys. Definitely tough to keep track of what's going on. Let's not leave well, out the fact that James Main Event Morgan, the real scrap daddy, is still in this thing. That's right, Morgan's still in this thing. And of course, Willie Mack and Sean Ricker, who drew number one and number two, they are still in this thing as well. And that's still unbelievable. To come, still to come, we got Mikey O'Shea, we got Scorpio Sky still in this thing. The fact that Ricker and Willie Mack are still in there, still competing, is a testament to their heart, their ability, and how much they want the Heritage Championship. How about the Manimal still alive? I'm not surprised about that. Gotta love the Manimal. But he has been as impressive as ever. Kevin Douglas, a great champion in his own right. Could he take home the gold? Well, maybe not. I need to, that cape to fly back into the ring. Oh, number 25, a great number from Scorpio Sky. Clearly, DK, this has got to make him one of the favorites in the matchup right now. Oh, no question. Scorpio Sky, a great veteran champion. He's been there before. He knows what it takes. He's so resourceful, and he's going after everybody. But at this point in the matchup, it's, look at him. He's sticking, moving. He's striking. But he's not going to earn any friends in there doing that, that's for sure. And what he course, is trying to earn is a championship. That's what he's trying to earn in there. And Scorpio Sky definitely qualified more than qualified to hold gold, but James Morgan's still alive. And what helps Scorpio Sky is that his strength and conditioning coach, Big Duke, still in there as well. And those two could team up, that is for certain. And guys, when the ring fills up, this is why this type of match is so dangerous. So many arms, legs, bodies flying around. This is when you can really get hurt in there and you can get eliminated in a hurry. Well, that's why you know you say Scorpio Sky comes in here fresh, but you're right, it's dangerous. He can have his back turned for a second. Over the top rope, he can go. Well, you saw what happened to Taylor earlier. Best well, friend, James Morgan. Taylor would have been eliminated Shut right up then. for a second. Look at James Morgan laying it. Yeah. Oh, oh Sky's no. almost out. Oh. Scorpio Sky almost get taken out. Meanwhile, Eric wants again. This guy, I'm taking notes here. Don't you forget about this. I am taking notes. Remind me in the back later, Todd, that I hate Eric Watts. Oh, I don't, I don't plan to talk to you as soon as this broadcast is over, Stu. Wait a second. Number 26. Is that, is that Christian Cole? Christian Cole is in the red carpet rumble? Oh, wow. This guy usually just lets his mouth do oh, all the talking for them. Experience are now picking their targets. Oh, they're experience trying oh, to make a power I play. They're full I think, strength. I think I made the other wrong. I think everybody's picking the experience. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I misspoke. They absolutely get swarmed. Well, I think showing that they were a unit was a bad call, TK. If I had it known, I would have qualified myself. Christian Cole pulling the wool over everybody's eyes. Johnny and I was never told that I could qualify. I know. It's about the only thing he knows. Oh, the only thing you would have done, I think, if you were in there is, uh, is win. get eliminated quicker than Winchester is did. Is win. Well, much like Disneyland just down the road, I don't think you met the height requirements for this ah match. So uh, we decided to leave you out of it, kid. Sorry. Must be this tall to ride. Speaking of oh, look out here. Oh, Riker's got Douglas. Sean Ricker Those two been battling it out for introducing a while Kevin matchup. Douglas to our table. Johnny and doesn't meet the weight requirements to speak my name. And those two went through the ropes, so neither man eliminated. There you go, Kevin Douglas. Welcome back, kid. Getting close to the finish here now. 
Number 27 about to come down to the ring. Of course, I should add, it was Adam Pierce who drew 14, who didn't make it into this match because he used to, Stone. That's right, Adam Pierce is done. Dunzo, Vamanus. Oh, we got Ricker! Ricker By Big Duke, top. he certainly has the strength to get him out. Look, watch the feet. Oh, and now, oh my goodness, now hanging on oh, for dear life. The feet have not touched the floor. Oh, how in oh, the hell, oh, and now, yes, Ricker eliminates yes, Big Duke. Yes, come on, Ricker, yes. You know, when Ricker came out, I talked about the inspiration of Percy oh. Pringle. No, oh, Matthew's holding on there. I talked about needing every ounce of that wisdom and that tutelage. Jarek Matthews eliminated. Unbelievable effort there by Ricker, but how much left can he possibly have, guys? Well, ladies and gentlemen, oh, look I out. think Jarek Matthews was eliminated by Eric Cross. Eric Cross now eliminated, and he did. Eric crossed him. He eliminated his own friend. You know, Cross and Matthews arguing on the outside. I don't think We're that's going to help their friendships. friendships. Going to be short-lived. Willie Mack laid it to Christian Cole. This is something oh. Willie Mack's been waiting to do for a long no, time. No love lost between those two. And look at this. Matthews looks angry, guys. Oh, sure does. Not the best day ever no. for him today. The big story here, Christian Cole still in this thing. Comes famous B drawing number 28. That's right, in all the chaos, of course, SoCal crazy number 27, famous B 28. And you were you were saying, TK, you were, wait, wait, what's going oh, on? No! Oh no! Taking the elevator all the way down to the basement. There was a very little water in the pool. <laughs> Willie Mack eliminated Christian Cole, throwing him right on a big dupe. Then in the numbers of the experience, Willie Mack, the second man in this matchup, still having the strength to press up Cole and get him out of here. He never belonged in this match. Willie Mack dripping with sweat, dripping with pride, dripping with integrity, as a matter of fact. That man deserves to be here. And Scorpio Sky still in his thing. Kevin Douglas, Watts, Famous B, Terex, SoCal Crazy. And you were talking about TK. The Manimal may have been eliminated. Sean Ricker being under the tutelage for so long of Percy Pringle, the late great Percy Pringle III. Of course, you got to think all those hours, all those months, all that time, that wisdom imparting itself in this matchup. Oh, he soaked it up like a sponge. You can tell all those strategy strategy sessions. But is that going to be enough? I mean, the, it, it, the, the odds are in, insurmountable seemingly for Ricker and for Willie Mack. I guess the Manimal wasn't eliminated. Went under the rope, I'm being told. And here's Ricky Mandel. About to pop in right now at number one, is he? Number 29. 29, Ricky Mandel, the mirror image himself, recently returning to championship wrestling from Hollywood. He's been very impressive. Oh, and a lot of history between these two. The disrespect for Mandel, for the art of Lucha Libre and SoCal Crazy going right after him. Oh, look out! Mandel holding on. And here's something you gotta you gotta factor in, guys. We talk, we've talked about the conditioning, we've talked about the luck of the draw this entire matchup as Big Nasty just teeing off at Terex here. Oh, I'm Morgan. loving it, TK. I'm loving this. This is terrible. This is fantastic. This is awful. Yes. Love. Love. No. Oh, and he's out. Yes. 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 No. That's right. That's right. No. James yes. Morgan. James no. Morgan has been eliminated. Out of my face. James Morgan no. has been eliminated. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. That's right. See you later. Yeah, See the you guys new later. Scrap Daddy. I won't miss the real Scrap Daddy, Daddy wins championships. I won't miss any of you guys one bit. I will get you next time. He's All these threats. James Morgan, you're out of here. <laughs> That's Stu Stone. Thank goodness has left the broadcast position, at least for the moment. Some peace and quiet around here. All right, I'm feeling good, TK. Shut your mouth. Oh, Terex. What? Terex is eliminated. Yeah, yeah, that's what you get, Terex. That's what you get, you fat nothing. And how about that, guys? He was eliminated by none other than Willie Mack. What the hell? Rixel Blitz. Rixel Plix is in the ring, guys. What the 
hell is he doing in there? Rexoplex. Rexoplex is demented. James Morgan has been Number eliminated. 30 in this over 30 man red carpet rumble. James Morgan has been eliminated. I hope he doesn't have any of that powder. We're gonna have a whole ring full of zombies. I need a drink. Zombie champion. Rexoplex has been char Charlie shading people in the face around here lately. I need a drink. I'll tell you what, this red carpet rumble has lived up to the hype and then some, and we're still going, DK. Oh, sure are. This is so awful. SoCal crazy in trouble. And, I mean, you try and catch a breath, you try and make a point here. I got. I wanted to talk about endurance. Guys, remember, it's not just the last man standing here under Battle Royal rules, but we're down to two. They're gonna have to go at it one-on-one, -on -one, no pin or submission. Look at the demented Rixoplex. Rixoplex bit. Famous B on the leg, you can see the blood oh coming my. from the mouth of Rixoplex. Oh my goodness. Sickening. Rixoplex is a, he's not even human, he's a, he's like a cannibalistic monster. This guy is disturbing. He's gonna have to, Famous B's gonna have to go get uh, some shots or something, my goodness. Well, now it's a party. Here comes the dancing diabetic. Piggy Biggs. Want to watch out here. Another Piggy big, Biggs. big man though, Jeff, that you gotta try and get out of there and contend with in a match oh, like We got this. a lot of big men here in Championship Wrestling from Hollywood TK. A lot of big men in that ring. You got Piggy Biggs, you got Eric Watts, you got the Manimal, Willie Mack. Rexoplex. Aware when Willie Mack is not the biggest man in a matchup. Really is. You got yeah, Big Nasty in there too. Big Nasty. Look at this. The Manimal now biting Rixoplex back. <laughs> I love it. Maybe that'll stop Rixoplex from his voodoo rapping career or whatever the hell it is that he's doing these days. Call me out. Everybody needs to make a living. Look out, Willie Mack. He's got Scorpio Sky Press. Think of the history of these two. The rivalry, the wars over the television title. What an elimination that would have been if Mac eliminated Sky. And they keep on coming, the red carpet rumble. Oh, here comes the hobo. Coming out to join the Manimal who's been in this thing seemingly forever. That's a huge story right there, the Manimal. And here comes his buddy, now, No that, Hobo. Did he repair the Hobo Championship or is that a new one? Possible new one. Version 2.0. Perhaps. Of course, the last one destroyed by the experience. Well, the, the hobo. hobo going after the Manimal, that's weird. Well, you talked about it. It is every man for himself. And the Hobo might take a bite out of Rixel Blix too. The hobo was looking for a warm meal. Hobo and Manimal, look at this. What is going on here with the hobo and the manimal, guys? This is like your worst nightmare, TK. It really is. Team up, guys. Come on. Clear the ring. You can so be, they could be the last two remaining. Ring. They work together. And Maybe Kevin this, Douglas Mac, has gotten in his ear or something. Mac and Rick are continuing to fight here. Those two men started this thing. And Rixel Blix was trying to open up that, that cut that he opened on Famous B's leg some more. He's been staying in the corner. That guy's demented. He's Famous B needs a tetanus shot, a polio shot, a rabies shot. You never know what diseases come from the mouth oh. of Rexel oh. the hobo. Oh, no. Hobo. No. Looked like he was going to be eliminated there. Trying to hang on. Hobo trying to skin the cat, get back into that wow. box car. Usually and he does. Usually when he skins the cat, he's just looking for some warmth. Oh. Number 33, and this means that everybody will have entered the ring at this point. All the competitors are now accounted for. Mikey O'Shea, the last man to enter. One of these men, ladies and gentlemen, will be the new Heritage Champion. We'll be standing on top of the mountain. And so Cal Crazy eliminated. Crowd comes to life. Oh, look out here. Big time oh. slam there. Folks. You are looking at the ring right now, filled with athletes. One of these men will be your heritage champion. That's and it won't be Famous, oh, famous B. Famous eliminated. And it eliminated. won't famous be Biggie Biggs. Biggie Biggs. Tough to keep track of all this stuff. Sure is. I think, man, that one registered at Caltech when Biggie Biggs hit the floor.
Much like we saw when we saw Ricker and Willie Mack face to face early. Two of the favorites to win this thing. Two of the heavy hitters going at it toe to toe. Shot at the Heritage title on the line here. Mikey O'Shea in the best condition of his young career. Told me earlier. Oh my goodness! Oh my Mikey eliminated once! Talk about a quick, explosive, decisive move there, O'Shea. I was gonna say the one man wrecking machine. He's trim, he's leaner than ever, and he has just made this red carpet rumble a little leaner by eliminating that piece of film, Derek Watts. Mikey's got Rexoplex. Oh, oh. He, he got him with that! Charlie Sheen! Charlie Sheen! Oh, not oh. this way! Rexoplex. Oh, give me a break! Eliminated himself. Well, no, looked like he was going to. Yep, he Oh, does. he did! Well, who, who do the voodoo that. you do so well? Wow, and that's gonna Mike do Yoshi it. eliminated by the voodoo apocalypse. Don't know how you do the voodoo that you do. That's what you meant to say. And now they're all over. O'Shea on the outside. He was an absolute favorite to win this thing. Wow, after all that, I cannot believe what I just saw. And of course, we got Mandel and Blake Fox paired off there. Sky and the Hobo. The Manimal and Kevin Douglas. Oh, look out though, O'Shea! Oh! Getting some revenge powerbomb on the apron. And Kevin Douglas and the Manimal again on Sean Ricker. That's been the story of this whole matchup. Those guys have been gunning for Ricker. Yeah, Rick Rixel Plicks better hightail it back to Catman Do if he knows what's good for him. And here we go. The Hobo and the Manimal are amongst the final entrants. That pays a billion to one in Vegas. When you talk about the unpredictability of this matchup, that's what it's about. You don't know what's going to happen. Who will be the new Heritage Champion? Mandela, a great athlete as well. He's looking good right now, taking it to the hobo. Willie Mack, Ricker, Sky, Manimal, Douglas, hobo. Who's gonna be the next champ? And of course, Sean Ricker and Willie Mack have been in there since the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, imagine the exhaustion, the fatigue. They are being tested like never before, but they're still in this thing. And again, we gotta reiterate, guys, when it's down to two, it's not over. You gotta go one-on-one, -on -one, pinfall or submission, you gotta win that title in the center of the ring. I mean, the hobo, can you imagine? I can, he'd be able to trade in that uh, homemade cardboard deal he's got there and take home the real thing. How can you call something homemade when someone doesn't have a home? It's just made, it's just made. Fair enough. And you know, you gotta give credit. Oh, look at this. You know, the Manimal, he came in at number 10. The Manimal was number 10 in this thing out of 33 guys. That's really unbelievable. I'm glad you're on top of the stats here. It's been tough to keep track of numbers and things going on. It's been everything we expected it to be and more, the red carpet rumble as Ricker taken the hobo in and he hits hard. The return of Kevin Douglas, the return of Todd Kenley. It's been a night of surprises. Perhaps the biggest surprise has been the hobo and the manimal are still in this thing. Oh, it's been wild from the get-go. Well, they, don't, they don't seem to be on the same page, though. The page seems to be Kevin Douglas and the manimal. Of course, the hobo used to being underneath the page. It's his comforter. A lot of guys in pure survival mode There's here. Scorpio you talked about Sky how resourceful Peter. Sky is. Look, he's got a hold of that cape. Very smart here. Oh, the Manimal the just Manimal. got eliminated by the hobo. Oh my goodness. No hobo. Oh, dissension in the ranks here. I got to applaud the Manimal. What a performance he put on tonight. Definitely opened up a lot of eyes. And the hobo turning his back on perhaps his only friend. The perhaps Mega the only man he's smarter than. The Mega Powers have just exploded here. They have. Almost. I would say the Mega Bucks, but more like the Mega Pennies. Scorpio Sky trying to reserve some gas in his tank. It's, again, we've talked about pacing throughout this match, and how about it that Ricker and Willie Mack, number one and two, going at it until Douglas got in the middle of them. Final six guys right here. Heritage champion about to be crowned, and the Hobo oh! is eliminated. Scorpio Sky eliminates the Hobo with a look of disgust on his face. Interesting point here in our final five competitors. Scorpio Sky held gold. Kevin Douglas held gold. Willie Mack held gold. Sean Ricker held gold. Ricky Mandel self-proclaimed. He's had a so, mirror championship. He had his own title right. made for him. I guess that kind of counts. 
Look out here, Ricker. How in the hell is he finding this? Look out now, oh. powerbomb in the corner on Douglas. Oh, well, he back full in his team. And the oh. superhero flies on out of here. We are down to the final four. And I got to tell you, I am shocked right now. Sean Wicker and Willie Mack are two of your final four. Of course, Scorpio Sky and Mandel, the other two. All four guys surveying the landscape. Only Wait. one can be the champion, Resnick. To recap, once, once we get down to the final two, ladies and gentlemen, it becomes a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Pinfall or submission. Mandel and Ricker going at it. Scorpio Sky and Willie Mack renewing their timeless rivalry here. And the stakes have never been higher than they are right now. Literally. And Scorpio oh. Sky has never been that high in his life. Just got thrown to the roof by Willie Mack. Willie Mack all over Scorpio Sky. But Willie Mack, how long can he keep this going as he comes with the fist drop now? Mandel and Scorpio Sky, you would think, would be the freshest two in this match by far, just based on the draw. This has been incredible so far. What an exciting concept. What an exciting matchup. And you got four guys. Very exciting finish it's gonna be right here. I have no idea who's gonna win this one. No clue. Very rare for me not to have an idea of something. <laughs> no, it is completely unpredictable at this point. And when does anything leave Stu Stone speechless? What a flying knee by Sky. He's got him up thinking ace of spades. Oh this. no, thinking elimination. Oh. Sky goes Whoa. over. Sky, no, he's hanging on. Oh, he's just hanging about on. on the verge of elimination. One, One foot, foot, yes. Four. Wow, it's just his left leg. We're watching, If folks. that left foot hits the ground, he's out. Oh, wow. Oh, he's tickling his armpits. Oh, the oldest trick it's... in the book. The oldest trick in the book. <laughs> that works on anybody, and I mean anybody. That was awesome. That was literally one of the Willie greatest Mack, things I've ever I seen. I have never seen that before in a matchup. That was awesome. Willie Mack trying to win by any means necessary. That's right. What, what a maneuver. maneuver. What yes. a maneuver. That was absolutely incredible. Stealing one out of the... Uh, I've never... There's no playbook there. That's no playbook there, yes. Yeah, that was awesome. Whoa, look out. Oh. oh, no tickling necessary here. All right. Final three. Here we oh. go. Oh, oh wow. Max down. Max out. It's gonna be Sky and Ricker, one Ladies on and one. The next elimination will happen by pinfall or submission. We are under standard rules. Sky and Ricker, it's gonna be Sky and Ricker, one on one. Who will be the new Heritage Champion? What a match. Take nothing away from Willie Mack. What an impressive showing, but you're right. It is down to two, and what a two it is. Two great former champions collide. The Heritage Championship hanging in the balance. Big fight feel here on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. The fans are on their feet. I'm on my feet. These They're two chanting. men, I don't believe it. Sky and Ricker, Percy Pringle looking down from the heavens. You know who he's rooting for. Oh, yes, he is indeed. But does Ricker have enough left? Look at this. Oh, like a man possessed. Cover him. Cover him. Two. Yes. No. Come on, Ricker! What Come a unique on. concept here, a one-on-one -on -one match. You had a red carpet rumble. All roads lead to this. One of these two men is oh. your new, your first, your only heritage champion of this company. But think of how many hurdles Ricker has had to overcome throughout this oh, lengthy spear. Spear. matchup. Spear, that's gonna one, do it. Champion two, every crowd. Go. Oh. Ricker so holds close. on again. I can't even sit down. John Eon, Short. I gotta give you credit. A great concept here, but you got your last two men. Who's gonna take it? As Short. long as there's not anyone from your family, I'm happy, Stu. I hate that And guy. here Sky is where yep, fatigue becomes a factor. Sky, he's fresher. Look out! Oh, oh my god! Oh! But Sky still has his wits about him, able to counter the incredible athleticism of Ricker. Look out, Sky! Crossbody! Oh, Ricker rolls oh, through! Does he have enough he left? Through. Yes, he oh. does! No. We make it to the station! Lady train! Here we go! One, one, two, two three! We got him! We got him! We got him! Sean New Ricker! New champ! Sean Ricker! Ladies and gentlemen! The winner of the red carpet Sean rumble Ricker. and new Hollywood Heritage Champion, Sean Ricker!
Ladies and gentlemen, history has been made here on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Sean Ricker is your new Heritage Champion. John Ian in the ring to present the title to the champ. Sean Ricker has fulfilled his destiny. Percy Pringle, oh yes, looking from upstairs. He's got to be proud. The biggest moment in Sean Ricker's career. John Kelly, you were here to see it. Oh, and it was my honor to be here. What an incredible match. What an incredible night for that man, Sean Ricker. Richly deserved. He earned that one. Think of the hurdles he climbed throughout his career and in this matchup. And he is the new Heritage Champion. All right, Sean, you hear the people? Come on over here. I know it's an emotional day for you. You hear the people? History being made here in Anaheim, just blocks away from the Magic Kingdom. What's on your mind? Look at this. Wait a second. Wait! That's oh, right, no. with the PB3 cup. Oh, that no. guarantees him a title shot at any oh. title, any time he wants. He's, he's going to cash it in right now. He wants that. How ironic that he's, he's got, got the PB3 cup. Him. You're not kidding. Think of what that cup is. He's got the PB3 cup. That is the most ironic. You couldn't write a movie with an ending like this. Ryan right. Taylor here to spoil the party. He, he was incensed after being eliminated by that red carpet rumble by Gregory Sharp. And now he's cashing in. The PB3 oh, cup. Man. Oh, kick to the head. From dream to a nightmare. Perfect Look circle. Perfect circle connects. A new, new champion, champion to be crowned twice. No. no. I can't believe what I'm seeing, guys. I can't believe it. This has got to be divine intervention keeping Ricker alive. But how long can he hold on? Taylor was not in the rumble for long and now trying to take advantage and take the gold here. The PB3 oh. cup winner with a senton off the top. Taylor smells blood in the water. This is crazy. He's a shark this and he most... wants to be heritage champ. Ricker motionless and oh. he takes another one. Perfect circle, Covers a pair of sentons. That's got to do it now. No. What in the world? This is awesome. This is incredible. Ryan Taylor looking Come to Come on, Ricker. History. Come on, man. Come on, Ricker. You can do it. Stay in this thing. Stay in this thing, Sean. Looking for a sharpshooter, perhaps. Ricker, not even a, most, a moment to breathe and enjoy the win here. And now, yeah, think about this. Think of those oh. legs have got to be tired. The lactic acid building up. Is he going to give up? Taylor is he going to tap here? Back at it. He is sit back on that sharpshooter, Todd. All the pressure. On a, on a body that has been battling for an hour here. Imagine the pain, the physical and mental exhaustion. But is Ricker, Ricker strong enough to overcome? Come on, Sean. Oh, and look at that, blocked him. That was an expert move there by Taylor to block Ricker's attempt to it's get like to the ropes. Eyes in the Come back on, of his Sean, head. get to those ropes, Ricker. Come on. Oh, he made it. And again, a whole nother side of Taylor, so aggressive, holding on there, breaking right before the five count. A whole different mindset. I for told Taylor. you he is beside himself after being eliminated from that red carpet rumble. This is a different Ryan Taylor. Bonus round action here. The Ryan Taylor of old wouldn't do this, TK. He wouldn't do this. These people are going absolutely crazy here. Taylor looking for another sharpshooter. Ricker countering. Ricker countering. Can he? He does. I don't know how in the world he has the strength left in his legs, but right as he gets back to a oh. vertical face, look at this, oh. leg lace takedown, dragon screw leg whip there by Taylor, who continues to attack the legs. And I know you question the timing, perhaps, Oh, Taylor. Jeff. Oh, this is the kick. Oh, no. Oh, gravy train. Oh, yeah. Yes. Second yes. time to the Come station. On. Two. Oh, oh, my goodness, it'll leave you so breathless. Close. This is awesome. This is awesome. Todd, we may have missed you, but you got to admit, Todd, you have missed this. Oh, I sure have. And listen to this crowd. Let's lay out for a second, guys. Saying that was three. Ricker could taste it. Dave Marquez on the outside looks like he's about to crap his pants. The Heritage title on the line. Sean Ricker just went through over 30 men to be the champ. And now he's got to contend with Brian Taylor, who's at time to rest. But Taylor earned that right. Think of what Taylor went through to win that PP3 Cup. Here goes Taylor out. Oh, oh Trey again! Catches him. Trifecta, here we go! Yes! No! Yes! Ladies and
Ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Here is your winner. Wow. And still, Hollywood. Here Instead is of the Jennifer three letters H U H that spell her, I'm going to say W O W. Wow. What a performance by Sean Ricker. And look at this. Now he's got the PP3 cup on top of it all. This is just a fantastic moment for professional wrestling, a fantastic moment for this company, and a fantastic moment for the legacy of Percy Pringle and the career of Sean Ricker. And how fitting is that to have the Heritage title? Yes, and think of the heritage of Percy Pringle the third. Now, back to our interview with David Marquez, and yep, the new champ. Okay, Sean, let's try to continue this. Won his first title defense. I was asking you just a couple minutes ago, Not only are you the Hollywood Heritage Champion, but looks like the PP3 urn has come home. So now, how does it feel to be historically named the new Hollywood Heritage Champion? Huh? I just spent nearly 80 minutes in this damn ring. You want me to talk now? You're more of a dummy than I thought. Let me talk to you. This, without question, Christ, the greatest, the absolute best moment in my wrestling career standing right here, right now. The first ever Championship Wrestling of Hollywood, Hollywood Heritage Champion. I said it would be done, it was done. The only thing that would make it sweeter right about now is if this guy was here. I'm gonna tell you right now, he saw all this. He knows everything that's going on because he said, you have got big things coming to you, Mr. Ricker, and he was damn right. And that's not an insult, that. Huh? It's just a fact of life. And there you see it. You may call him Sean Ricker, but from now on, you can call him Champ. One of the most impressive inspirational performances that we have ever witnessed in professional wrestling. What a night for that man. Big things coming his way. Indeed, the new heritage champion, Percy Pringle III, always knew what he was talking about, and he certainly knew when it came to this man. Championship wrestling from Hollywood. We usually, we usually promise big things, and we always deliver, and this was no exception. The red carpet rumble delivered everything. Action, excitement, unpredictability. Todd Kenley, Stu Stone, Resnick, we got a new champ. Ladies and gentlemen, an historic night here at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. We thank you for joining us. We will see you next time. <laughs>